Is the end of the day. Grady is in here in the kitchen making peppermint. Is that what it is? Homemade peppermint. Homemade peppermint ice cream. And guess what I just did today? I painted a painting. I used purple. And I think I really like it. I've been playing around with pattern a lot and I decided to put purple on there. So let's go look at it. There she is. What do you think? I really am loving playing with pattern. I feel like I'm still like not getting crazy with it, but I've been using my flowers here and all this stuff is inspiration and I'm really happy with it. And then I subtly got some of my wording in, you know, where I wrote flowers. That face ended up looking awfully lifelike. Um, I didn't really mean for it to do, be like that, but there it is. Well, hey there. You need some attention? So you need a friend, mom. Coming in for your afternoon attention. Pan, you looking so cute. Someone needs their afternoon snuggles. They need it. I am packaging up several paintings to go to the post office and wanted to show you a couple things. I try every time that I have a, a painting that sells, I don't always get to it, but sometimes life is just kind of crazy. But this painting right here sold. Y'all saw that in a past vlog. And what I like to do, oh, I just realized I forgot to put flowers, the word flowers on there. Hmm. Great. It's time to package it and I didn't do that. Hmm. Do I like it like that? I think I like it just maybe like that. But basically I painted, I paint like a little version of it and then write the little thank you card on the back. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what I should do about that. I like it. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And then I've got a, another collector that bought these two that I just love. It makes me sad to see these, you know, to see these go because they've been living with me for so long. And the way I painted back then, I do love it. I don't, I just can't bring myself to paint like that anymore. I just don't enjoy it. These are two oils. And then what I did was picked this one to do a little miniature gouache. And I love how it turned out. That's what I named the painting afternoon sun and I just kind of put that one on some board in case he wanted to frame that just to make it a little more substantial and I just love how it turned out. I do think I like this gouache better than the original painting. Grady told me make sure you scan that or take a picture that could would be a cute little card. I did take some pictures. I hope I got some good enough pictures. Maybe I should snap some more because that would make a, a cute card. So, and then that one, since I put board on the back, I did another, a different little thank you card. Grady's outside cutting cardboard for me because I package things up ridiculously. I mean, I'm sure I pay way too much shipping and all of that. But anyways, I've got glassine paper here. I like to wrap everything in glassine because that protects it. And then I've got cardboard and I mean, ridiculous amounts of layers. So once Grady gets the cardboard to me, uh, I've got my boxes ready, then I'm gonna just start packaging up. It usually, it usually takes me like half a day to package just one painting up. It's really ridiculous. I think because I don't have a process or a good process yet. And I'm always hand making cards and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to get this done and hopefully get this to the post office before lunch. But I thought you would enjoy seeing those little cards. Thought I would pick up the camera and show you this painting I've been working on. There are lots of things I'm feeling happy about it, and yet it's just still not how I want to say something. I'm painting on this board, which has got a completely different surface, so I feel like I'm painting slightly differently. I've changed up my scene a little. I think I'm trying to decide if I want to set this aside and go get another board. Either way, I think I want to paint this scene really quickly and paint the whole thing looking through this. I'm not sure what that's going to do for my eyesight, but I just want to put blobs and work fast. So 
Hmm. Maybe I'm going to set this aside because I could salvage it. I don't know. I'm going to set this aside and go get another board, I think. Does that make you feel a little better that I'm not painting over this one? Sometimes you just have to lose what you love. No, you have to lose what you like to be able to get what you love. Is that a saying? That's what I'm saying. Okay, guys. Um, I love this. Uh, there's probably quite the glare because it's still drying, but I'm wondering, y'all are probably going to be like, um, okay, we like the other one better. For me, this was so much more fun to paint than, you know, where I am with that one. I do still like this one right here. I'm sure it's dark. I'll probably have to do some B-roll to show you guys that this one right here in better light. But... It's so frustrating trying to figure out the way you want to say things. This is fine, and it's, I mean, it's not done, but when it was, when it's done, it would probably be sellable, but this, to me, has so much more interest. I've literally painted this entire thing. Where is the jar? Literally. I held this, and I thought it was going to use it to look through for that, but I used it to look through and paint. I literally held this, I literally held it like this and painted. I did. It's very helpful. Get yourself a jaw. Okay, I'm gonna put this up on the wall and assess and see what I think. Definitely still some things it needs, I don't know. I just wanted to show you. I'm editing the video now. This still has not gotten completed. I got rid of that background and added this vase. This definitely is not painted in the same style as this. So something over here has to be resolved. I just couldn't figure it out. I can't remember from the painting the last time that you saw it, if those lemons were in there or not. But everything here I'm liking, I just have not resolved this yet. And who knows if it will ever get resolved. Probably what will happen is one day I won't have any canvas or board to paint on. And I'll pick this up and paint over it. I don't know. But I still do love this right here. Um, maybe what I should do is lop it off. I don't know. Anyways, right now it's just going to be set, uh, stacked over there someplace. But I thought I would show it to you so you could see where it ended up. And that's where it ended up. Okay, well, we have this going on. Still life kitty. And per usual, I got into a painting, started showing you guys, and then forgot about y'all. Sorry. Here we are. This painting has taken many stages, twists and turns, lots of changes to the background, the foreground. And I feel like I'm getting there. I'm still not sure about this background. I'm loving this. I'm loving a lot of it. I feel like right here we still need something. So I was thinking lemons. So I thought what I would do is cut out some lemons and stick them around. So that way, since I'm towards the end of the painting, I can continue just being loose and not fidgety. I have painted this 50 million times. This area, I have put so many different things there, but what's nice about it is that is creating some different pattern and texture. So let's stick these babies on there. Got my tape here. Oops, add another piece. I like to stick those on my clothes so it doesn't become so sticky. too big. Okay, I'm going to trim these down because they're a little big. I don't need them to be perfect because they just don't need to be. I do want them to be semi
So I'm just gonna kind of play around with these and see what I can do to make it work. And obviously I'll be looking in the mirror backwards a whole lot to figure this out. Looking through the viewfinder, the yellow is a nice pop, so that may work. Ben, what you doing, bud? You taking a nice kitty nap? Oh, don't touch me, Mom. Hey, bud. All right, this is what I've settled on. I like this kind of composition, and I'm gonna just try slapping it in. And if it doesn't work, it's just paint, and I can do something different with it. There's lots of other places that still need resolving, so if I mess this area up, who cares? I've got other areas that I'm probably gonna mess up too, so I'm gonna get to it. Okay, I definitely feel like I need to pick up the camera to document this terrible background that I just did. Oh, is it showing up? Not sure. I feel like there's a glare. Oof, it's bad. It just screams like 80s, 90s, or I don't know. I just, whoa, that's not. Uh, now that I step back, I don't know. I'm gonna let it dry, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing something different. But I just thought I would document uh, that bad choice. But the lemons, they're, they're, playing nicely. That's working. Okay, I cannot remember when the last time I picked the camera up, but I've had this painting in my den. I have this wall system. Probably should show you guys. I should have showed you why I had this up, but it is a wall system where I can put a whole bunch of pictures, and it has like a clamp thing here and here, and the clamp is kind of dark and comes up over the painting, and having that up there made me realize that this needed a dark spot down here that the composition's really good actually now that i'm looking at it through here i wonder if maybe maybe i'm gonna go get a piece of paper and do that collage thing again just to make sure even though it's not a big deal if i put something in i can take it out i mean that's what makes the painting is all the little bits like this that peek through from changing and changing and changing but i'm really getting happy with this and i think it's either done or almost done. I'm gonna go get a piece of black paper and stick it there so that way too I can kind of play around with the shape and where I need it. But there was something about that black thing being like right here that kept you in the painting a little more. And I think I also want to put another layer here because it's a little too transparent for me. If I just break that up a little, it won't be that like you can see through the lemon and see that. So I think I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna be close to done, but I'm super happy with how this is turning out. Okay, I've been playing around with several different like sizes and pieces and I don't think I like it. I don't know, when I hold it up like that and I'm looking through the viewfinder, I'm kind of like, well, maybe. Maybe I wasn't putting it up far enough. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's get that up there a little more. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure, I feel like y'all are probably like, no, don't do it. <laughs> But then, y'all do that, and then most of the time when I do something, sorry, I'm trying to get this tape off. Most of the time when I do something, y'all are like, okay, well, that went well. Oh, you're right. I just can't decide, guys. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna take some pictures. Yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures and think about it before I blop paint on there. Do you see how that does do something? wanted to show you a painting that recently sold and the thank you card that I made for her and how I kind of packaged some of this. Let me show you. So this painting sold. I've had this up on my wall. I love it. I think my favorite part is this vase right here and the way I painted it. It just has a looseness about it that I love. So I'm going to be sad to see this go and not have it as a reference. I mean, I have pictures of it, but this is acrylic on board. I probably used a board that I prepared a while back for an oil painting. And she's planning on just setting it on a shelf. So I've got to package that. I made a thank you card for her. She mentioned that she loves my boats. And so I did a boat painting for her. I was like, yes, thank you for letting me know what you like. So that was fun to do. And I put this little guy in there. How cute is he? I based it off of this one up here. That one. 
and put that little guy in there. So it's always nice when I know what other like things they like because I do like to make a card for them. So I've got that card and I've got that painting. The first thing that I do is we're just kind of now getting like our... Hey bud, you want to say hi to the people? Say hi people. The first thing I do, well there's my envelope to my card. I guess the first thing I do is take this off my watercolor block and write a thank you card. I have this really, really big roll of, what is this, glassing. So it's a really, sorry about all the weird noises that's going on down here. A lot of scratching. It's like, <laughs> a lot of moving. So I wrap the painting in glassing first. The reason I do that is because that is the best material to use to protect the painting. It will not stick to it and it just protects it. So I do that first. I feel like I need to be like this to talk to y'all. So I wrap it in that first and then I have these really thin plastic bags that I wrap it in because I definitely want to protect it from moisture. Sometimes I will wrap it in some pretty tissue paper and uh, put the thank you card somewhere in there, usually in the plastic. And then now, because we have a new process, I hand it off to Grady because like it's just really physical to do all the cardboard cutting. So then what he'll do is cut cardboard to wrap around the painting. And then he wraps a bunch of, what do we have, bubble wrap and puts it in the box and just make sure that it's really good and protected. And then we address it and all the stuff. And if it's international, we have extra paperwork to fill out. And then he is, we're not gonna do the local post office this time. He's gonna take it down to UPS and he's gonna do that for me. So that's nice. And then the owner is going to take some footage of when she gets it and where she's going to hang it. They have a newly renovated house and she has a perfect spot, she said, in her kitchen. So I think it's perfect painting to go in the kitchen. So I thought maybe you guys would be interested in that. So I'm going to go do that now. Nice to be able to hand it off. Thanks, babe. Hi, Sandy. I'm so excited. I'm opening my box with my new painting, and I was happy to take it off your wall. I'm going to put it on mine. Here it is. Lots of good packing. Here we go. And I think you packed this like Fort Knox. I commend you on your packing. Thank you. Wrote a note. I will read 
later. But I'm walking through the street. As you can see, our house is still under construction. But I'm going to show you. Thank you for the little letter. I'll do it later. I feel like I'm getting into a Christmas present. Oh, there it is. Laura, thank you so much for taking the time to film and to show me where you're putting that painting. It blesses me so much to be able to see you guys open the painting and see where it's going to go in your home. I love that connection with my collectors. I'm so glad that Grady talked me into starting the website and selling via my website. I pushed back against that for years. Uh, it just felt overwhelming, but to be able to have this connection with you guys, it really excites me. So anytime you guys buy a painting of mine and want to send me photos or a video of opening it or putting it on the wall, please do it because I love it. And it's fun to be able to share that with you guys too. I hope you like it. I have an ask for y'all. If you have been enjoying this channel, getting any benefit from it, come here regularly, and you have not subscribed, will you subscribe to this channel? I am trying to hit my goal of 10,000 by the end of the year. One of you guys over on Instagram reminded me that about this time last year, I was putting out the call to try to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. So definitely grown in a major way over the year, but please help me get to 10,000. And if you've already subscribed, you can always hit the like button. I don't know why I just did this. Does the like have a thumbs up? Anyways, that felt really awkward to do that. Uh, but that does help. Anytime you're watching a video and you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up because that tells YouTube, we're liking this material. Why am I doing so much singing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that's my ask for for this week. You guys are awesome. You continually encourage me like nobody's business and it keeps me going on this channel. So thank you guys for your continued kind comments, continued watching, being faithful to this channel. It just makes a huge difference. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, this video was jam-packed with paintings. I'm like, wow, there was a lot painted in this small amount of time. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys back here next week. Bye, guys.